How is it going guys? Thanks a lot for joining me once again. Today I'm going to be looking at a uh, beer from Melvin Brewing, a uh, fantastic hoppy brewery out in uh, Wyoming. Um, today's beer is going to be Drunken Master Double IPA. Coming in at 8% al or 9% alcohol by volume, 75 IBUs. They're using uh, Columbus and Citra hops in this one as well as some top secret hops. So uh, yeah, should be pretty good. Um, really dig their beers. I reviewed their one uh, double IPA, a uh, IPA, and a pale ale from them. So, all right, we've got Drunken Master Double IPA poured, and it pours a beautiful, glowing, super hazy uh, orange color. Not opaque, but super, super hazy. Um, the color almost looks like a orange lifesaver candies, something like that. <laughs> pretty cool. A uh, finger of a off-white head. It's a nice looking beer. Let's get an aroma. Oh wow. Super, super citrusy. Some melon aromas coming off the uh, hops. Yeah, I'm getting tons of like uh, grapefruit, some uh, orange zest, stuff like that going on. A big uh, crackery, bready, and slightly like caramel malt thing as well. That's a delicious smelling beer. I've been drinking so many of these uh, Juice Bomb New England style IPAs lately that uh, this just, it's so nostalgic to me. This is what got me into hoppy beers, you know, like big, uh, slightly boozy, like double IPAs, sweet, citrusy. Yeah, cannot wait to try it out. Let's do that. Cheers. Mm. Wow. <laughs> that is really nice. Not near as bitter as I was expecting from the aroma. There definitely is a piney grapefruit zest kind of uh, greenness, you know. Uh, yeah, like a herbaceous hoppy greenness, but not super bitter. Slight booziness on the uh, uh, front of the tongue there, but that goes, uh, that fades and goes into like this really silky smooth, um, like a hop oily kind of mouthfeel, you know. Perfect level of uh, carbonation for a beer like this. Just a uh, very soft carbonation, but there is a slight uh, sting in the front of the uh, um, tongue from that carbonation. Really dig that. Super easy drinking, especially for 9%. Um, it's not by no means a crusher. You do want to sip this one, but um, yeah, that is really, really good. grapefruit, hints of mango, uh, hints of pineapple in the background, getting a big like a, a melon character for sure. And some like orange, just straight up like orange juice, that kind of thing in the background there. Uh, yeah, those bready malts come forward too, balance out the beer really nicely. Just awesome, awesome brew. Just a pinnacle example of a West Coast IPA in my opinion. This is really, really good. Um, one of the better uh, West Coast double IPAs I've had in a long, long time. Um, Drunken Master uh, double IPA from Melvin out in Wyoming, of all places. Like, really, really great uh, beer. Um, I don't think I've had any uh, craft beer from Wyoming other than stuff from Melvin. Um, so if you know any other uh, craft breweries out there, let me know about them. I'll try to get some of them, uh, review them for you guys, and uh, yeah. As for a rating on this beer, I'm going to go straight up uh, A, like a 94, something like that. Really digging it. So let me know what y'all think of this beer, any of Melvin's other brews, and until the next time, cheers everybody.